Want to learn how picking the right cherries can skyrocket your sales? When seeking customers right for your pitch, it's like picking cherries the perfect niche. With data so clear, the targets appear. Boosting your sales becomes a cinch. I'm going to show you how to identify and target ripe customers ready to buy, helping you transform your marketing strategy for better results. Welcome to Mastering Marketing, your daily dose of marketing wisdom. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mastering Marketing. Today, we're diving into an essential topic for every small business owner, an introduction to digital marketing. Now, many people think digital marketing is just about posting and boosting on Facebook, but it's so much more. Here's a free marketing tip. No matter what you're doing to advertise and promote your business, you're always better off reaching 100 people 10 times each than 1,000 people once. Frequency sells and people need to be reminded over and over. We don't drop what we're doing when we hear a commercial or see an ad and change the course of our day, right? Every impression seen, heard, read, or experienced just one breadcrumb closer to a potential sale. Radio is great for reaching the 95% who aren't in the market now, because it builds brand recognition and creates trust and credibility in the community. With digital, we're going after the people who are most likely to be in the 5% who would be or who would be in the market to buy your product or service. Let's explore the full spectrum of digital marketing and provide some crucial tips for maximizing your eff- efforts. Before we start, I want you to think about how any given advertising medium reaches customers. With billboards, for example, people drive by and see them, right? Limitation is, though, you have to drive by that area to see it. So it's passive advertising. It sits there in hopes that, one, people drive by. Two, they look over. Three, they have a need for whatever's on the board. And four, they're going to remember the name or number to follow up later. TV commercials. You're buying time on one channel and reaching people who are watching at the specific time the commercial airs. That's assuming that they didn't record the show and are now fast-forwarding through the commercials at a 4x speed. The potential customers must watch that specific channel and to see the commercial and you have production costs to shoot the video. You have super high spot rates depending on what station and time you want your commercials to air. Great reach, but much higher commercial rates. Think about a million dollar commercial price for one 15 second commercial during the big football game. Huge numbers watching it, right? But it has a frequency of one time. 15 seconds later after that commercial plays, you're, you spend a million dollars and you they've already forgotten you as they're watching the next funny commercial by a big beer company with deep pockets or something. You could get five years worth of radio commercials with heavy frequency on multiple stations with the same million dollar budget. Radio is great for reaching people in the masses and branding your business as part of the community. Radio has live and local personalities with hundreds of thousands of adult weekly listeners who tune in to listen to their favorite DJ or to find out what's going on around town. You can pick a radio station based on your target demographic. For the golf shop example, 105.7 The X would be the right station to advertise. The station profile has listeners, with 65% of them being men, in the ages of 25 to 54 range, or 35 to 65. The station blankets the entire Harrisburg, York, and Lancaster PA markets. So advertising has two important roles. Number one, is converting the 5% who are actively in market for your product or service today. And number two is creating future demand with the 95% of the people who aren't currently in the market for your product today. Digital marketing encompasses all marketing efforts that use electronic device or the internet. It leverages digital channels such as search engines, social media, email, and websites to connect with current and prospective customers. Here's a common misconception. When I ask a business owner if they're doing any digital advertising, a lot of times I'll get a common response. I'll get, yeah, we have a Facebook page. We post photos and tell our customers about what's going on. But there's so much more if you pull back the curtain. Digital marketing is not just Facebook. With Facebook, Facebook is a powerful tool for certain situations but you're only reaching people who are on that platform, right? Kind of like a TV commercial where you're only targeting people who are watching that particular channel. Here's a marketing tip. In whatever marketing you do, don't uh, don't water down and spread your marketing budget too thin. Remember frequency sells. If you do a little bit here and a little bit there and some here, you're watering it down and it will result in, in no new customers for you. You need reach, frequency, consistency, 
and a great message for a successful campaign. If your campaign is failing, it's because it's missing one of those four keys. So radio is good for creating brand awareness for the 95% and creating future demand, but I'm going to show you how you can use a toolbox full of digital targeting tactics to go after the 5% who are ready to buy now. Digital marketing includes a variety of platforms and strategies. Simply, posting or boosting posts is only a small piece of the puzzle. True digital marketing involves a comprehensive approach that integrates multiple channels and tactics to create a cohesive strategy. Let's dive into the key components of digital marketing. We're going to talk about media channels and the different ways that you can reach your ideal customer. Display advertising is visual ads on web pages and mobile devices. Connected TV or OTT is video ads on internet connected TVs. Digital audio, that's audio ads through streaming platforms. Email marketing is full service email campaigns to your target audience. Native display are ads that are integrated with surrounding content on websites. Responsive guaranteed display are Google based ads ensuring a 0.6% click through rate per month compared to the industry national average for digital display ads of 0.05 to 0.08. With 100,000 responsive display, guaranteed display impressions, you're guaranteed to get a minimum of 6,000 website visits from people interested in looking at what you have to offer. SEM, search engine marketing, Google AdWords, Google Search, or Bing Ads. These are managed spend campaigns where you're paying a CPC or cost per click basis. Think of the ad space being auctioned off. Higher bids and your content is shown to more people. Services like Google AdWords are probably the best digital targeting tactic that I can recommend to clients because it's at the bottom of the sales funnel and targeting that 5% who are looking to buy now. The cost for Google AdWords is Google spend plus 30% management fee for most places. So a $500 Google spend would cost $150 or $650 for your Google AdWords layer of targeting. I use Google AdWords myself for gray water ops. Um, and again, it brings me new customers every month. Here are some terms that you may see or hear related to digital marketing. Social media ads. Those are referring to the native ads displayed in the Facebook news feed. Hyper-targeting or geofencing. You can serve ads to audiences captured from inside a competitor's business location with geofencing. DNA Digital following identified audiences for immersive campaigns across multiple platforms. Direct mail digital extensions. Expand your targeting using home addresses or addressable geofencing each home. The customer provides the list, or you can cultivate a list through a huge database that includes the names, addresses, and email address of every person in the list. Every person in the database has been third-party opted in verified and is sorted into a bunch of different buckets. There are digital targets for many different topics or needs. So if you're a golfer who drives a Jaguar with a household income of $350,000, you are going to be in a lot of different buckets related to everything that you enjoy. Golf bucket, fine dining bucket, high ticket purchase bucket, right? Or any cataloged in any number of different ways. Attribution. How do you measure the results of your digital campaign? Well, the first immediate answer that comes to mind is through register sales uh, compared year over year. Since you've been advertising, have sales gone up, down, or do they remain flat? Foot traffic. Measuring store visits due to marketing through weighted actions. Cross-device pixel tracking. Tracking actions to understand the customer's journey. Marketing services. Website design. Landing page creation. Custom domains for optimized conversions. Social postings. All different parts of the digital puzzle or different layers of an onion as a good example. SEO, search engine optimization for websites to help you rank organically higher on the Google website ranking. The higher you are in the Google website ranking, the less expensive your ads are and the more traffic Google sends you. LSEO, improving visibility for location-based searches locally. Reputation management, building a positive online presence where you answer and respond to all reviews, good and bad. Content marketing, creating and promoting optimized content that your customers can relate to and appreciate. Digital marketing has two different jobs working for you all the time. The first job is identifying who your target audience is. 
it's constantly out looking for new people to add to your target list based on if the there's new people added to the database that also fit your criteria, right? So that's let's say your your name's Fred and you own a golf shop that sells high-end equipment. Your ideal customer based on historical business data is men between the ages of 35 and 65. That's your target demographic. It's your sweet spot. If you were picking cherries, they'd be the sweetest ones. Here's a marketing tip. Focus your marketing and budget on targets who are in your demographic. You don't want a wide net here. You waste advertising dollars marketing to people who aren't interested in golf or your business. Unless you have an unlimited budget, stick to marketing to people who may actually buy your product. Maybe not today, but maybe in the future. Now, I'm going to pull back the curtain and let you see how you can pick cherries from this beautiful data tree I'm about to show you. So let's do a real search and see how many people I can reach in general with 20 mile radius of zip code 17112. I'm going to select Pennsylvania over here first. And then I'm going to type in my zip code there that I want to target. Now there are multiple ways that you can search the database for identifying your cherries. Uh, you could search by city. You could search by county. You can search by DMA. Uh, you could search by the state level or nationwide if you want to search nationally. So you can do all that to start with your target geography, right? That's where you want to start. Narrow down the area that you want to search. If you're serving customers specifically in central Pennsylvania, again, you're wasting money if you're spending advertising and it's being shown in San Francisco or somewhere that you don't have a presence. So uh, start with your, your target geography. So when I put in the zip code of your golf shop, with a 17112 zip code. Then I check this little box here and select a 20 mile radius. I can click this button and it will return a number telling me how many real people in the database meet all of the filter criteria that we're searching for. So we're doing a, a broad, simple one right now just to kind of give you like a baseline of how many people are in the area that we're looking at. And then we'll do a, a tuned in one here. So this example will show you how many people total are in the database and live within 20 miles of zip code 17112 that we can reach with your message or any business's message. There you go. This is a live real world database I'm using. You have 260,364 people within 20 miles of zip code 17112 who you can put your ad in front of. Now, the big question is, how many of them do you want to reach? So the first role of digital marketing is identifying and building your cherry list, right? The second job is to deliver banner ads to the cherries picked. The number of impressions available is based on your budget, your monthly budget, and um, how many times each that the cherries see your ad will depend on how big of the budget is, right? Bigger budget gives you more impressions to serve. So uh, smaller budget, target smaller areas at a level that you can sustain monthly or month after month. So advertising isn't an expense. It's an investment into future business. So what level of monthly budget are you working with? Let's look at a simple digital display campaign example. If you wanted to reach all of the people in the 260,364 count, 20 mile around zip code 17112, and you want to hit each of those people 10 times each, you would need 2.6 million impressions, right? 260,364 times 10, 2.6 million impressions per month at a staggering cost of about $31,000 if you want to reach all of them 10 times. Now, like I said earlier, there will always be more people out there than any one budget can afford to buy. So don't be scared off by that big number. You're wasting money if you're trying to cast a wide net and reach all of those people that we just pulled out there, right? Um, let's filter the search and dial in our true ideal customer for the golf shop example. Now, I have a tab here that says selection. And when I open that tab, I can see all of the different options that I can filter and build my cherry list of potential customers. First, I'm going to go down here to individual and I'm going to click that. On this drop down list, I'm going to select the age first and enter 35 as the minimum age and 65 as the max age. Then I'm going to pick gender and I'm going to choose men. 
because I'm targeting. I want to see just the men in this database. Now, because this is a golf store we're building your cherry list for, we can actually go under interest and we can filter based on some specific topics. Golf, luckily, is one of them. So I'm going to check that. Then we'll go up here to buying activity. I'm going to go to buying activity, shopping habits, and uh, let's select high ticket items. Finally, we'll go down here to income and wealth and then household income. Now, since these golf clubs you sell are high end, we're looking for golfers who have a household income of $200,000 or more. You could logically assume that a household income of $200,000 would imply he has disposable income for want items, right? And we're targeting people we already know can afford these golf clubs. So when I rerun the search, it gives me 3,946 men. Now, these are just men that are between the ages of 35 and 65, right? Our target them, our target gender, our target age, who live within 20 miles of zip code 17112. There's our target zip code. Have an interest in golf. Oh, we sell golf stuff. Uh, and have made high-ticket credit card purchases in the past. Bingo. They can come in here and make a high-ticket credit card purchase. And have a household income of $200,000 or more. That is a pinpoint focus cherry, my friends, at your fingertips. And you can legally market to them because they've all opted in to these third-party databases. These are these ads are shown naturally in the ad slots where you see other ads on websites when you're surfing the web. These ads follow the cherry. The potential customer doesn't have to go to a specific website to find your ad. The ad follows them and puts the ad in front of them in any available ad slot that we have an opportunity to do that. So with 3,946 cherry targets on your list, if you wanted to put your message in front of all of them 10 times each, you would only need 40,000 impressions. That's a manageable number. 40,000 impressions per month is less than $500 a month. So once you have a list, you can reach them digitally on multiple platforms. You can reach them on desktops, laptops, smartphones, and tablets, connected TVs, video commercials, email campaigns, and more. But remember, there will always be more people in your marketplace than any one budget could afford to reach. Remember, we don't want to cast a wide net and pay to deliver ads to people who have no interest in golf. Spend your budget wisely. Your marketing dollars should focus on reaching these specific cultivated cherries who have the most probability of spending money in your high-end golf shop. At the end of your campaign, you can request a complete list of everyone that you marketed your business to so you can add their info to your database and use it as a matchback verification to identify customers who were targeted and shown your ads and then came in and made a purchase at a later date. Here are some tips for implementing digital marketing strategies. Tip number one. Start with a holistic plan. Get a professional website. It's your first impression to potential customers. Develop a comprehensive digital marketing strategy that includes multiple channels. Tip two, focus on data and analytics. Use tools like Google Analytics to track performance and make data-driven decisions. Tip three, engage with your audience. Respond to comments, emails, and reviews to build relationships with your customers. Tip four, optimize for mobile. Ensure all your digital assets are mobile friendly as more users are accessing the internet via mobile devices. Tip five, continuously update and refine. Digital marketing is dynamic. Regularly review and adjust your strategies to stay relevant and effective. Digital marketing offers a plethora of opportunities for small businesses to grow and succeed. By understanding and utilizing the various components, you can create a powerful marketing strategy that goes beyond just posting on Facebook. Remember to keep your efforts data-driven and customer-focused. Check out the links in the description for additional resources. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, click the like, and then click that bell to be notified when I release new content. Join me next time for more tips on mastering your marketing. See you later.